Hello everyone, it's Cody. I just wanted to make a short video for you guys today to uh, kind of let you know uh, what my future plans are for uh, Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Uh, first of all, I do want to apologize to anybody who was expecting a dueling video today. I know I usually do them more or less every day, uh, and I will get into why I haven't done one today here in just a second. But, um, I guess a little background for anybody that doesn't know or isn't aware, we did get the official word in-game through an in-game mail earlier this week that Harry Potter Magic Awakened is coming to an end in the Americas, Oceania, and I believe European territories. So uh, Asia is going to remain active and they're going to keep releasing new content for Asia is my understanding. But the game has already been removed from the Google Play Store and several other platforms that uh, you could download it from and you already can't make per new purchases in the game. Uh, so this obviously presents a little bit of a problem. But I did want to let you guys know that I do have some future plans for the channel. And they involve both this server that I'm currently on, which is in America, called Opal Eye. And uh, the one I will be moving to in the future called Hippogriff, which is uh, the actual server is located in Dubai. But it serves uh, the, one of the, uh, I believe, the Eastern Asian territories. Or, I'm sorry. Yes, Eastern Asian territories. So the uh, first thing I'm going to do is finish off my time. I just wanted to let everybody know I will be finishing off my time for sure on this server. So um, I believe October 29th is the last day that this server will be active on Harry Potter Magic, Magic Awakened. So in that time, I hope that we get the rest of the story for year four. Um, I hope we get to finish the season and they go ahead and release the remainder of the seasonal content and we get to finish all the achievements and everything for this season. Um, there's a couple other things I'm going to do on this server, but honestly with it coming to an end, there's not a lot. Um, I'm going to give you guys, you're kind of getting a little preview of it right now. I'm going to give you guys a full tour of my personal space, including my greenhouse and extra room that I have apart from the one you're seeing right now. Um, I do plan on doing a couple of videos about uh, things that are in unusual locations or kind of hard to find or hard to unlock or in places where not a lot of people go or hard to spot even if you are there if you're not looking for it um, just little things like that and uh, along with that just some basic game tips tricks just little things you can do here and there that make your life easier here at Hogwarts uh, my plans for the Hippogriff server which I will be moving to as of, I guess, October 30th of this year. Um, basically, because it's based in, in Asian currency, I am still not gonna be allowed to do purchases. I am gonna have to play everything for what I earn and start from the very, very beginning. The only thing I've done so far is create my character. I've done the name and the uh, basic setup of what my character is going to look like at Madame Malkin's, and I have not even designed my wand yet. I stopped there before I uh, switched back to this server so I could make this video for you guys. Uh, but that one, uh, you guys will basically see me get to play from the start and uh, I guess really watch me work my way up from the beginning. I'm going to start recording basically my entire time on the game so we'll get all the story, we'll get all of uh, 
that every little thing that we might have missed in the past on this one because I was concentrated so hard on dueling that uh, I might have either overlooked them or not bothered or I definitely didn't bother to record them if I did bother to do them. So uh, there'll be a lot of things like that and I hope you guys will uh, stick around for that in future. And again, that should begin on October 30th will be my first day that I'm going to be actually logging on and doing actual gameplay. So, for the new server. So, basically starting the whole game over again. Which, ironically, I often wish I can do with some games. Uh, mobile games is not usually an option, or it's not really a good option. Uh, but... Uh, Sometimes you kind of wish to go back to, uh, like, just for example, two, well, two quick examples, uh, Magic the Gathering Arena and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel uh, are two of my favorite mobile games. Also, I love card games in general, and uh, I never play in real life. I always play online. Uh, too many people argue over rules that I've noticed in real life, so I've never bothered personally. And it costs too much money to buy real cards and try to take care of them and build decks and it's too much. But anyway, those games, I often wish I could take the mobile version and almost delete my account and start it all over again. Because I love the beginnings of those games when it was far more about skill than having a deck that played for you, basically. And, um... To be honest, that's something I've never run into in this game. Uh, I've always been excited for the new content. I've always... I've never got bored with Duel Club, Dance Club, Verdant Victories, the classes that you have every day, uh... Checking the Forbidden Forest, uh, all that. It's, uh just part of my daily routine, and now that includes taking care of the plants as a herbology master, and uh, which I'm also going to lose my herbology rank, which has taken me... <sighs> it just, I don't even want to know how long thousands of hours to get to this point, however long since the herbology profession was released, I've been working on leveling it up, and I just maxed it out about a day after this news came out so kind of a disappointment but it is max now so um not a lot else i could do with it anyway but unfortunately there are two more careers that we're never going to get to see on this server and that i'm gonna have to again just uh earn my way from scratch and uh it's going to be long and hard, but I actually truly do love and enjoy this game, and so I'm almost looking forward to it in a way. Uh, on this server especially, uh, there's been so little activity in the Americas and uh, other areas that they've actually already merged servers. So if you're on a server in the Americas and you've noticed there's a lot more Asian names and things like that that you don't recognize and names you don't recognize that's because they've actually merged a lot of servers already just to keep activity levels up so uh, it, it, the future is not looking great right now for this game and uh, I really hope that it stays on for the long haul and they actually finish it um, I always assumed that it would end one day, but I figured they had a, uh, it appeared to be at least a two, maybe three year plan with this game, uh, as far as content releasing goes and working your way through all seven years of your school career at Hogwarts. So, uh, again, it's a shame we only got halfway through it before... Uh, they decided to call it quits here, but uh, again, that's something I, I, I might do a 
completely separate video on my the entirety of my thoughts on Harry Potter Magic Awakened, but especially on WB, because as some of you guys may know, because I do post videos for it occasionally, I do play Mortal Kombat 1 as well. I played every Mortal Kombat since I was six years old and had to stand on a chair at the arcade to beat guys that were in college at the original Mortal Kombat 1. So uh, I have a long-standing relationship with WB and uh, lately it's not going that great. Um, so, again, uh, I, I might do that at a later date, but um, before this video gets too long, I just wanted to tell you guys, uh, I, I, I can't even describe, like, just even having, I know having 85 subscribers is nothing in YouTube terms, but uh, for me to go from 25 to over 85 in the course of a few months because of a few videos that I made about a game that's based on a book that came out like the last one came out what 10 12 more years ago so uh but I've always loved Harry Potter I, I've always loved the books when I was a bit younger I haven't read them in a while uh movies were okay but uh, this has just always been one of my favorite things. So I just wanted to tell you guys thanks. And uh, it's amazing to me that so many people care enough about this game to like watch not only dueling videos, but how-to videos and, and instructional videos and tutorial videos and things like that. And to actually bother to like or comment or or share it even is even better or and then uh like i said i know at least 60 or so of you are new within the last few months to my channel because of this game so uh i appreciate you guys i appreciate all the everything that you guys do uh analytics spits out a thing for me once a week to look at and uh i can't believe the number of people that of different people that watch things and, uh, you know, subscribe and, and like and share. And, uh, cause, uh, you can see likes and views on videos, but it doesn't tell you and comments of course, but it doesn't tell you when somebody shares or, uh, when you're getting views from a share or anything like that. So, uh, but it does tell you in the analytics how many times it was shared. So, or that uh, total shares for your videos that you had that week. So again, I appreciate it, guys. Um, I, I can't believe uh, some of the videos took off the way they did, uh, especially the uh, Giant Squid Charms tutorial video. That one was by far one of the most popular videos I've ever created, and I think it might be creepy excuse me, creeping up towards uh, the most popular video I've ever created. Um, again, guys, if you have any suggestions on things you would like to see done or things you want me to try on this server before I log off for the last time or they shut it down or uh, just anything like that, just uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and again, uh, in conclusion, I, I really appreciate everything you guys do all the likes shares and everything and i know every youtube person says it but it really does when you see the numbers and you see how many people are actually watching your stuff and how many people watch it multiple times because they enjoy it for one reason or another or they seen you do something that they've never seen before in a duel or in a or whatever it it's or that they want to use in a duel so they rewatch it to like kind of learn the move or the technique or the combo or whatever it is that to me is amazing uh and i know a lot of like i said i know a lot of youtube personalities say that and i don't consider myself a youtube personality by any means but uh that's how you guys know me, and um, uh, again, I hope you guys stick around for all the future stuff, and thanks again, everyone. Have a good day. Goodbye.